they all do it. What we're going to look to in this video. Well, the petrol leaks back, so let's investigate that. So it's the 20th of September. Went to get the bike out of the shed. And what could I smell? An overpowering smell of petrol. So I can just about feel the patch if I put my hand right inside. I can feel the lump of, of uh, the putty what I put around it. And that feels nice and dry. So we're leaking from somewhere else. So let's get the tools out and start stripping again. So the petrol patch is still sealing, so that's all good. But it's leaking from the fuel pump somewhere. But uh, it's pretty hard to see where. It's quite rusty. Don't know if it's leaking from around this joint. Or I don't know if there's some pinholes around this bit. Or even on the pipe there. There's still a fair bit of fuel in it to keep the cupboard out, making it difficult to find. So what I'm actually going to do is clean all the rusty bits up, put some more of that petrol plug sealant stuff on it. Let's see how we go. So we have two leaks, not one. So yes, let me clean this up and uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay then, so I've uh, <laughs> looks like a good contraption, doesn't it? I have uh, still got drill in that bit of pipe there to stop the petrol coming out. I have uh, filled that up with petrol. 
and uh, hopefully you can see what's around that edge there it's starting to get damp again it was all dusty rust that you could probably see it's getting damp so when it's under pressure it must be coming out there now all I've got to do is take this bracket off, give that a good clean up and uh, put some of that putty all the way around. I could buy a new pump I know but uh, I ain't got the money. It's not like I'm going long distance on the bike so it's not exactly just going to fail is it because it's uh, just a leak. Could set it on fire I suppose but just be like an insurance job won't it so let me get all that cleaned up properly bracket it off and I'll put some of that stuff around it and then I'll get back to you again okay then so I just slapped all that around there like that uh, some of you will know it's just this putty stuff You see that? Yep, just the same stuff I put on the petrol tank. It must be six weeks ago or more. Yeah, we'll leave that to dry and I'll try and fit the bracket back on, paint it up and stick it on. I hope it works. Okay, so this is the next day of petrol pump drying. So let's get the bike back out and uh, refit the petrol pump. Let's get the pump back in there. there we go. All bolted. Try and get the other bolt in. Let's tighten it up. So we've got the uh, fuel pump pipe connected up. Let's get the tank back on. So we can feed some petrol into the pump. Connect the fuel pipe to the petrol tap. Clip back on. Try and get a bit more right.
down. sealed. So let's start the bike up and uh, see what happens. Right then, we found the keys. <clears throat> Ignition on, choke on, start a button. joined onto the fuel pump. Yep, they're all nice and dry. So hopefully we can get back on the road. So there you go, all back together. Uh, if it starts leaking again I'll definitely let you know. So thank you for watching my video and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.